Well, Doug Darlene, we are live near Trisco Vista, where a 15 year old and a 14 year old were found shot to death. Their passing obviously affecting so many people in the community, including one Albuquerque mom who also lost her son at an early age. It's a story you'll see only on Saturday. January 27th, a day that will forever change an Albuquerque family. It's a sad situation. You know, it's just um, uncomprehensible. That's when Bernalillo County deputies found two brothers, a 15 and a 14 year old shot near Trisca Vista Southwest, about a half mile south of I-40. The oldest died at the scene. I don't understand how somebody can do this and drive away. Medics rushed the 14 year old to the hospital in critical condition that night, but a few days later was taken off life support. I feel for them. I just I know what it was to lose my son, but she lost two. And babies, they're so young. It's a grief Sally Sanchez knows too well. She lost her son, Antonio, back in December 2020 after he was found tied up and shot to death inside a home. And the pain hasn't gone away. I relive that every day that there's a homicide thinking this poor family. And I know what they're going to go through. And I ask myself, when is it going to stop? When is enough enough? That's why she and others are now providing meals to the family of the young boys. It's an initiative through her organization, the New Mexico Crusaders for Justice, a group of families hurting because of gun violence. It's one thing when you're able to say goodbye to a loved one. It's another thing when that's taken from you. Along with the support, Sanchez is also a big advocate for change. So coming up at six, a closer look at a new crime bill introduced in this year's legislative session. Reporting live in Southwest Albuquerque, Brian Albizu, KOAT Action 7 News.